YouTube. Peter from Gateway City Pipers. Coming at ya. Hope everybody had a great international pipe smoking day. I know I did because it was the weekend of the St. Louis Pipe Show. St. Louis Pipe Show was a great time. We had a bunch of YouTubers in town and it was my first time going even though I have have been born and raised in the St. Louis area, lived in a bunch of different areas uh, in St. Louis throughout my whole life. But it was my first time making it out. Usually it falls on a date that I'm unable to attend but this year the cards were aligned. So, Boontar Jones uh, made it into town on Friday and he had to leave that night for some work stuff but I picked him up and we met a bunch of YouTubers at a local shop of mine and we met Gateway Chris there, the guy I do videos with, who shares this channel with me, uh, Tyler Jeffrey, Northern Bohemian, Mike Miller, Tave the Smoking Pipeliner, Bryce Godwin, Alan Godwin, AKA the Neurotic Piper, and I think that's everyone. I'm forgetting someone, I apologize. So, um, met up there, had a couple bowls, had some good laughs, some good conversation, then we grabbed a bite to eat, and after we ate, we went back to their hotel and they were on the first floor, so we had some lawn chairs and we're hanging out and smoking there. And that was Friday, which brings us to Saturday, which was the day of the show. And the show was in a really cool location. It was the first time being in this location. And it was in a Masonic uh, Lodge, or, which is basically where the Masons meet. And it was a building that had three levels. And it's really great for a pipe show because you could smoke on the first two levels. Um, so on the first floor was the show. They had about 30 to 50 vendors. I'm terrible with those numbers. But those vendors had some great products available. Lots and lots of estate collections of tobacco and pipes and all that stuff, which I personally love at a show. And then they had some big name factory people and uh, some independent carvers as well. So I was pleasantly surprised by what a good selection there was. And let's see, I didn't really buy much. I only bought about four or five tins of stuff that's hard to get and then I picked up a couple cobs and some odds and ends here and there. Nothing great. But on the second floor of the show there was a smoking lounge which not many people knew about. So it was mostly just YouTube people but throughout the day there were a couple of local St. Louis guys who filed in and some people from out of town who visit the show every year and uh, True Defense Chris, another St. Louis guy, showed up. So it was great meeting him in person. Uh, I didn't get to talk to him much because there was a bunch of other craziness and ridiculousness going on at the time. But uh, our schedules have been not lining up uh, for a while and we've been trying to have a meet up so it was great finally getting to meet him. He's a good guy. And we basically stayed in that smoking lounge or at least I did it to lunch and then I went and grabbed uh, a quick lunch with my dad, the man who got me into pipe smoking. And um, then I took him to the show. So it was awesome experiencing that with him and he picked up a really nice estate pipe um, and some great samples of tobacco and we went back up to the smoking lounge and uh, had a bowl with him so it's great introducing him to people and sharing that with him so after the show we went to one of my favorite local uh, pizza places ate there went back to the hotel did some more hanging smoked out smoked out hung out smoked and it was a good time it was a really good time all those guys are great guys and some of them I knew better than others but I feel like by the end of the weekend uh, I got to know at least a little of them I cannot talk I got to know some of them a little bit better and they're all great people really really funny group of guys good to hang out with so I know that they stayed in town till Sunday, but I had some stuff going on on Sunday to where I couldn't hang out too much, but I was pleasantly surprised by the show. So that's what I did on International Pipe Smoking Day. Oh, uh, on Saturday night, we smoked some Kingfisher, which 
as most of you know, is a super hyped blend that is no longer production, really hard to get, and it lives up to the hype. It's a good blend. I enjoy it. So that was my special smoke, International Pipe Smoking Day. Anyways, just wanted to check in and give you guys the rundown of those two days of some great pipe smoking, some great community. Uh, it was a really good time, and I heartily enjoyed it. Did I tell you guys what I'm smoking? I'm smoking my... Cobb with some Yuli's Irish Aromatic, which was gifted to me by the very generous uh, Mr. Tyler Jeffrey. It's a really good smoke. It's smoky. It's good. And the grain on this pipe is just, you see that? You see the grain? The grain? I mean, look at that. Look at that bird's eye. Anyways, I will catch you guys later. Hope everybody had a great IPSD. As I mentioned, it is really cool to see all the postings and stuff on Instagram and YouTube of people celebrating and enjoying this monumental holiday in the life of a pipe smoker. Let the embers glow, and I will catch you later.